Hello. Who are you? Doesn't matter. Welcome. You're safe with me. I'll be right here. Nice and close so I can speak without alerting the others. Let me tell you about Senua. Now her story has already come to an end, but now it begins anew. What's happening? It's breathing. Dead. It's breathing. It's breathing. He knows. He knows she's getting closer. He can feel her coming closer. She's getting closer. They're watching. They're watching. They're watching. This is a journey deep into darkness. There'll be no more stories after this one. What is she doing? Why is she doing this? They're watching. Why isn't she turning coming? Back? She's doing this for him. She wants to rescue him. He's already dead. I can feel you coming. Shh. They're coming. Quiet. Oh, how rude of me. I never told you of the others. You hear them too, right? They've been around ever since the tragedy. Well, that's not quite true. Some are old, some are new, but they've changed. I think the darkness changed them, just like it changed her. Can you see them over there? Why isn't she looking? <laughs> Why aren't you looking? She's an ally. Look, up ahead. You see it too. You promised you could. Yes. yes, it is real after all. She's finally arrived in the land of mist and fog, the place the Northmen call Hell. she thinking? I can tell you. She's afraid. Wouldn't you be? You'd think she would get used to it by now after so many years. But the darkness, it just builds onto itself, growing stronger, towering over her. You might try and ignore it, Turn away. But it's always there, just out of sight. Where you're most vulnerable. It's like it knows that just enough light is all you need to see its suffocating power. You might think she's brave to go on this journey on her own. 
But it isn't bravery that drives her. Bravery only means something to those afraid of death. No going back. You can't do it. If anyone pushes away a world that conspired to cause so much suffering, there's nothing to go back to and worse to look forward to. Why don't you join us? Maybe you too have a part to play in this story. Do not forget my story, Senua. Because your darkness comes from hell, and your fate lies there. They say the burning of a corpse will take you straight to hell's gate. Yearns for life, hungers for it, like a pack of wolves in a hunt. But she's not stopping. Not this time. Can you see it? The land of mist and fog. He's in there. The old fool was right. What was it he said? The river of knives across which lies the halls of hell. The place they call Hellheim. speak of nine worlds. 
The world of men they call Midgard. Sky gods dwell in Asgard. The gods of earth, harvest, wind, and sea dwell in Vanaheim. The good elves dwell in Alfheim. The evil ones dwell in Svartalfheim. The mountain giants dwell in Jotunheim. The fire giants dwell in Muspelsheim. Niflheim is the world of ice and darkness. Only the dead dwell in Helheim. And that is where you must travel. again, old friend. I'm listening. The runes seal the gates to hell. Focus your inner eye, and you too will see what's hidden in plain sight. I can see one. Look. Hold it in your mind's eye. Find one like it to open the gate. What happens if you focus? It's near. Focus. Look towards the gate. The gift. The gate is open. Go through the gate. Go through it. It's dangerous. Follow it. It work. I spent six years enslaved in hell, but I watched the Northmen. Learned their ways. I know you did. You listen. When everyone else laughed. My people bear the heavy price. Carry my stories with you, and together we will make the Northmen feel our fury. Another voice joins us. She was trying to make them go away. Pretend they weren't real. is ruled by the giantess, Hela, daughter of Loki. The gods feared her bloodline, bad on her mother's side and yet much worse on her father's. So, as a child, the Allfather cast her down into Helheim and gave her power over those who die of sickness, age, hardship and self-slaughter. 
In all of the nine worlds, only Hela can resurrect the dead. the living from the dead. Is that the face of Hela herself? The half-rotten goddess that rules over Helheim. Whatever horrors lie behind that door, she must find him. spread towards her head, the seed of the soul, until there is nothing left of her. All of her suffering will have been for nothing. It's just a matter of time.
The hardest battles are fought in the mind. That is what Dillian taught her. With every defeat, the dark rot will grow and soon it will take her soul. For now, at least, she still has control of her mind. And she will fulfill her vow. Whatever the cost. He's not right. Listen to me, Senua. The goddess Hela lies behind the gate to Helheim. To open the gate, you must first face the gods that guard it. The god of fire, Surt, and the god of illusion, Van Raven. Spill their blood to open the gate to Helheim and enter the land of the dead. There's nothing but darkness. Bitter cold to the north. Fiery hot to the south. Valraven, ancestor of the seers and master of ravens. He hunts his prey with his powers of illusion and feasts on their remains. Follow the path to Valraven and defeat him in battle to earn his mark. The gate to Helheim cannot be opened without it. Ymir was a frost giant, a being of darkness, and all his sons and grandsons were dark after him. Of his daughters and granddaughters, some were monstrous, but others fair. hides the path to Balraven. Don't trust your eyes. Find another way to see the truth. It's a door. Push it. Push it. Push it. Come on. She did. She did it. She did it. She did it. She did it. behind the veil, don't we? But once we do, we mostly just close our eyes again and pretend what we saw was never really there.
Show me what you have seen, Truth. Look how much has changed. into another world that looks the same but feels different. An imposter world. Where the forest itself another is watching. Another game. Another game. Another game. <laughs> you know what to do. Stay back. It's not safe. Don't listen to them. Listen, listen. To don't. break the seal, align the ravens with the mark of Valraven. She can get up now. She can get up now. What's happening? 
Northmen say that Odin and his brothers killed Ymir, and that the world of men was formed from his corpse. They made his bones into stone, and his flesh into earth, and his blood into the salt sea. They set his skull to be the bowl of the sky, with his brains for clouds. Odin and his brothers caught the sparks flying. Do you know what it's like to leave everything behind? Your home? Loved ones, to head deep into the wilds, perhaps never to return. Senua does. Because when darkness speaks, it changes everything. Turning home into a foreign land and loved ones into strangers. Exile makes sense when you realize that you were never really home in the first place.
سام تو راه دیم تو راه دیم سام She could beat her own Did she beat the darkness? No. <laughs> it nearly killed her, but she tried. Truth. Truth helped her. It wasn't for Truth. She's she dead. dead. She can't beat her own darkness. She wanted to marry Dillian. She came to beat her own darkness. But she thought, she thought her curse would affect him. She thought she'd bring the darkness to him too. She nearly died. She thought the curse made her tainted. The ravens. the ravens. They've gone. They've gone. No. Half of them have gone. They've gone. Some are still there. But where? Some are still there. Oh, no. the raven is helping. He's no. not helping. It's true. Why? It's true. can't say. Out in the wild. In the cold winter woods. Where have they gone? She no longer felt fit for this world. She almost gave in to the darkness. She remembered Dillian's words. She remembered her promise. She resolved to fight on and kill that which had become a part of her. Banish it on her own. The further she saw into the darkness, the more she struggled to see anything at all. And the glow, the smallest hints of shape, sound, thought, grew in strength until they consumed her whole. There is no such thing as victory when it last has had her in its claws. Time. 
Only when she is at her weakest will it strike to kill. Will she find Dillian before her time comes? <laughs>